Hi everyone, it's Claire back again, finally. I know it's been weeks and weeks and I actually ended up missing my um, August Magnificent Seven and then I left it so long that I can't even remember which polishes I wore. I actually didn't wear too many polishes in August just because um, I'd packed most of my polishes away. So I've moved now. I've been here for about four weeks. We're slowly unpacking. Um, I'll show you some photos of the of the room that I've claimed as the nail polish work from home room. So we're getting there as you can see I've still got plenty of polishes but um, I did count them up on the spreadsheet just before as I was packing and, and, and counting them and cleaning the racks and things as I was putting everything away um, and I was surprised that I actually have round about 700 polishes I thought I had way more than that I know at one point I had more than a thousand um, so I, it just tells me that I've de-stashed and given away lots and lots of polishes. But also my remaining collection, I would say almost a half of my collection is polishes that have been sent to me, which is incredible. Let's make a start with this video. I thought what I would do is go through some of the polishes that have been sent to me recently and that I've picked up recently. Um, so yeah, these are new polishes that have been brought into my collection. And the first polish that I'm going to kind of do it in order because I've actually put them on the swatch wheel here. So we're going to go through them in order. This is a beautiful polish that was sent to me by Louise Loopy Frog. It is, uh, so it's tonic and it is Watcher's Woods. I've never heard of this polish or seen this polish before. And I, I was just absolutely mesmerized by this in the bottle. It goes on a sort of brown colour. It's it's like a it's a, a brown green purple base. So it's very shifty and it's got lots and lots of twinkly holographic glitters. It's absolutely beautiful. It takes about three coats to be opaque. It's not the most straightforward polish to use, but it dries really quickly and it just looks really, really pretty. So I think I'm definitely going to be making use of this over the autumn fall. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, Louise. That's Watcher's Woods from Tonic Polish. Absolutely beautiful autumn shade. Then I had some polishes sent to me by Amanda, the nail polish hound. So she was saving them for me for when I moved. Um, so she sent them to the new address. And this is one of the Green Origins, which is a really, really pretty blue. But it's actually, I'm going to do a dupe, I think, with this. It's very, very similar to a Trend It Up polish that Anna sent me. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same. But this one is Salt Lake from Barry M, um, the Green Origin line. And I did wear this recently. Really love this shade. Um, yeah, so thanks, Amanda. That's fantastic. And this one here she sent me, it's from the Under the Sea line. And it's a really pretty mermaid, mermaid kind of polish. Um, it's like a greeny blue, lots and lots of shimmer. And it is actually called Mermaid Tail. Um, and I'm not even showing you these on the on the swatch wheel. So that's the tonic polish that we had a look at there. That is Salt Lake from the Green Origin line. And this one here is Mermaid Tail. So it's really, really shimmery. Um, and this one here in the middle, so these are the three from Amanda. This one here is a Born Pretty hollow polish and um, Amanda sent this to me because I was hoping not to break any polishes in transit and actually I didn't break any polishes in transit but when I was packing just clumsily I managed to break I managed to break 
Azoya. Um, I managed to completely smash all over the carpet and everything. Um, one of my very few Zoyas, and believe it or not, it was Zoya Merida, and that's not a real, that's not a polish that's really easy to get hold of. So Amanda sent me this saying it's not. I know it's not a replacement for Merida, but maybe it'll do in the meantime. And it is a really pretty holographic green. It's quite a bright green actually. So those are the three there from Amanda, and she also sent me some oil which I've been using. This is the skin repair oil from Soap Dodger which is Arda's Nails. So I have been using this um, because my cuticles and my nails have been shocking. This polish that's on my nails at the moment, we will get to it, it's a pick up from Rainbow Connection. I don't know if anybody can recognise what this polish is. Um, but yeah, it's on the, on the swatch wheel there but we will get to it. So those are the three that were sent to me by Amanda. Thank you, Amanda. And then I decided to treat myself with some birthday money. It was my birthday at the beginning of September to three polishes from Rainbow Connection. So I picked up this one here. This is so pretty. It's like a, it's, it's almost like a duck egg, very, very pale blue green. And it's this one here from KB Shimmer and it's called Water Relief. Uh, the box is a bit bashed up actually, but <clears throat> look at that, it's so pretty. So it's got all those gold iridescent flakes in there and that's what it looks like on the nail. So I'm actually really looking for, it's a bit bright there. a little bit bright but hopefully you can see the colour there it's really really pretty I'm looking forward to wearing this one more of a spring shade really but um you know for seasonal wearer but um yeah I really really like that one and then this one here caught my eye on the website this is so pretty and it's another polish for days I cannot resist polish for days and it is a beautiful muted purpley pink with and it's just absolutely stuffed with those pink gold iridescent flakes that just glow from within uh you can see it better there if i turn the bottle upside down um but yeah it is absolutely beautiful and this one is called pluto there it is on the nail i'm really looking forward to wearing that i wish my nails would grow but I'm having so many problems trying to grow my nails and my cuticles are a mess. Um, my nails are really peely actually under the polish here. And then this one is what I'm wearing on my nails at the moment. And if you haven't guessed already, this is a beautiful enchanted polish. I do love the boxes that the enchanted polishes come in. And this is a fairly recent one. This is the 90s. And it just looks absolutely spectacular in the bottle. I love it. Look at all those neon matte glitters and there's black and white matte glitters in there as well. It's just, it's, I've been a 90s child. It is very reminiscent of the 90s. That's just an awkward angle there. But yeah, hopefully you can see this is my new favourite at the moment. I absolutely love it. And uh, Polish Pony picked up this polish recently, actually, and I'll put a, a photo of us both wearing this. So those are the three that I picked up from Rainbow Connection. I have actually got an order for Polish Pickup, which I've never done before. I just stumbled into it. I was enabled by my friends on Instagram on the in the collab thread that we have totally enabled <laughs> um and i think i've got about five six polishes on the way completely different brand new brands to me not heard of them before um and yeah i'm really looking forward to getting those so i'll do a video when my polish pickup order comes through but these are my three rainbow connection polishes that i treated myself to for my birthday and then i went to tk maxx <laughs> <laughs> I've got quite a few polishes from TK Maxx but first of all I just wondered if anybody's used this before I picked this up from TK Maxx it's um it's called La Base Coat and it is a strengthening base coat 
I don't know if this will make any difference. I am really missing my Nail Teaks Formula 2 Plus. Um, but this says it will make your nails feel stronger and harder. I don't know. I mean, the peeling and the splitting is really bad at the moment. Um, I think that the, the slightly longer on this hand, just very slightly. Here, just complete nubs on this hand. Um, so I'm struggling to get any kind of length in my nails at the moment. So hopefully this will help. Let me know if you've ever used this before. Has it helped? Um, if anyone's interested in picking this up in the UK, um, they will have they have these on for sale. They have these on display for sale for two ninety nine. So that's where I got that from. Fingers crossed it will work. So that was from TK Maxx, and then I picked up some S's. I got these three here from the. I think these are from the Valentine's collection earlier this year. I know I saw NV Nail Person on Instagram swatching these. These were from two separate trips, actually. I picked up uh, these, this one first, and then I picked up these two separately because I actually really enjoyed this one. I did wear it. Um, so that's these three here. They're all quite metallic. And I've dinked this one here, but I've been wanting a metallic red, a really good metallic red. Well, and I haven't got any metallic reds um, for ages. I remember been at a meeting once a few years ago and there was a, a woman at the the meet like a meeting conference and it was around Christmas time and she had some fantastic red metallic nails um and I've been kind of had an eye out for metallic red nail polish anyway this is this one here is se hashtag se love and this one here is the pink one, which is Peace, Love and Chocolate. And this one here is the pinky purple one. And this is called Unwrap Me. So that's those three very sort of Valentine's Day polishes. I love these two. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy that I've got a metallic red. <laughs> and this one here, I've got to be careful because this is about to break. Um, but this was another one that I picked up. This is quite an old one um, from an old collection wrapped in rubies. It was from years, probably about seven, eight years ago, I think. And again, it's um, a burg. It's, it's a, but it's a basically it's a burgundy. It's a true burgundy. So it's a br mixture between brown and red. But there's also a bit of a shimmer there as well. So that's definitely going to. Oh, it's like a loose tooth. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that is wrapped in rubies and it is a fantastic formula. So I'm looking forward to wearing that in the autumn. Um, so quite a few S's I picked up from TK Maxx. I also spotted this one here, which I remember, and this needs cleaning up. <laughs> um, yeah, this is how I found it in the shop. Uh, but I just, it was the only one there and I just grabbed it. This one here is SC Social Lights, and I do remember seeing this a couple of years ago, I think it was now, uh, maybe in a winter collection. Um, and it's a beautiful grey with a gold shimmer. And again, it's got a fantastic formula. I can't resist my shimmery greys. So that's Social Light. I did have it on my radar for a while. Um, yeah, and I picked it up at TK Maxx recently. So another SC. And this one here, I've actually got these two are both China Glaze. This one is called Mind the Gap. And it is uh, an ugly greyed out khaki with um, like a gold green shimmer. And it is actually really, it's really pretty on the nail. Um, but it's very sheer. It takes about three, four coats to be opaque, so I'm not so sure about that one. We'll see. It, it, maybe if I've got longer nails, um, I don't think that's going to look very good on short nails, but um, we'll see. So that one is Mind the Gap from China Glaze. No idea what collection that's from, but I think it's quite an old one. And then this one here is a very bright pink neon, and this is Lip Smacking Good from China Glaze. Um, dries matte great formula actually for a pink neon and actually you can see the neon there it's more it's got a slight bit of coral to it it's more of a corally pink um but yeah great formula for a neon and especially for a china glaze neon 
So those were the two China glaze that I picked up and that in, that concludes my rampage through TK Maxx for polishes that were on clearance. So I managed to pick up quite a few of them. Yeah, 14 polishes that have come in, into my collection since I've moved. Um, so I'm going to try and calm it down a bit now. I hadn't bought any polishes for quite a while. Um, <clears throat> and I think I just went I just went on a bit of a splurge when I moved. But that's it from me for now. I can't really think of anything else that I need to update you on. Um, I got some polishes from Anna just before I moved. And I did film, but I ended up losing the footage. And Anna sent me... Let me see if I can find it. I've got my toppers right in front of me here. Yeah, this is a beautiful topper. This is called Berry Blaze. And it's got some fantastic iridescent. So it's a holographic topper with these pink iridescent flakes. So it's kind of similar, Berry Blaze. It's similar kind of concept to Camellia, which is another topper that Anna sent me. Um, but this one is really, really pretty. So I've put this, I have worn this over um, a couple of pastel shades but I'm looking forward to wearing this over some darker shades so that is Berry Blaze and um, it is a really really pretty topper so thank you very much Anna Anna also sent me a couple of trendy ups but one of them I'm going to do a dupe with this one here and I'm also going to do my polish pickup video when that arrives and I'm going to try to get back into things I mean I couldn't even I was looking for my laptop that I do edit my edit my YouTube videos on and I couldn't even find that for ages I was a bit disorganized with packing and unpacking um, but anyway hopefully you've enjoyed this video I'm back I don't know how often I'll be uploading videos I'm going to try and get back into it again um, but I'm just focusing on the house at the moment like I haven't got a wardrobe um, so I have ordered one it's going to be delivered this week um, but I'm focused more on where I can put my clothes at the moment um, my nail polishes are all tidy and in their displays so that's fine but um, there are other things that I need to focus on so I will be around but I don't know how often I'll be uploading um, but I will be back for my polish pickup and hopefully for September Magnificent Seven hope everybody's doing okay I know it's not great out there it's just awful in the UK we're about to face a second lockdown and I'm in the north as well in in Manchester so um we we've you know it's the, the the infection rates are really bad here anyway hope everybody's okay um you've had a reasonable summer and looking forward to the autumn and i'll see you all in the next video thanks for watching bye Thank you.